Welcome back to another episode of Katawa Shoujo. Another week of Katawa Shoujo. Even another couple of weeks of Katawa Shoujo. I really want to get through this. Um, so I now know what I said, what, three episodes ago. Um, I will be gone for about two months um, with, a, with a new job with no time to record during the week anymore past this as far as I know for who knows how long so I at least really want to get through Shizune's story and then maybe another day pick it up yeah um, where we left off with Lily I think I said I was going to do but now that I know this maybe we can't even do Lily next maybe we're going to have to go to Emmy because it seems like it will be uh, the same the same uh, thing either way it will be a very very long time skip between whenever this session ends and the next time that I play because I don't even know when I'll have time to edit these um, I might record tomorrow as well because I have some time tomorrow but I <clears throat> excuse me I really want to get through Shizune's story at the very least so without further ado please enjoy Gatwa Shoujo among them, I spot a distinctive and familiar blonde ponytail. I'm more confused by why Lily is here than surprised. Shizune seems just as surprised. Lily doesn't seem ecstatic about this chance meeting either. Sitting next to Lily is a tall, androgynous looking woman in a sharp suit. I'd like to assume that is her older sister, but I don't want to risk it. It is. I didn't expect that you would arrive so early. At first, I think she's talking to me, but it turns out that she's referring to Shizune. I don't think Lily even notices my presence. I've clearly walked in on them mid-conversation, and it looks like, with her focus on Shizune, she can hear me. I should have rearranged my entire schedule for you. Shizune says, I should have rearranged my schedule just for you. That would have been nice, but I would not expect you to do such a thing. Oh, hi, Hee-chan. You're finally here. Yeah, hello, Lily. Oh, Hisao. This is quite a surprise. Akira, this is Hisao, a schoolmate. Hisao, this is Akira, my older sister. Yeah, I love Akira. I forget what voice I gave her, but that's fine. She holds up her hand in a brief and quite casual gesture of greeting, so she is the older sister, after all. Hope we're not messing up any of your plans, since we're only going to be here for one more day. Lily and I thought she may as well come with me. Akira turns to me like she feels compelled to explain. I'm grateful for that. I suppose my position here would be best described as a babysitter. Kira ruffles Hideki's hair as he carries on with his pastime, looking displeased. That is demeaning. Really? Maybe I'll change my title once you get a few more years on you. Or at least a few centimeters. They're like the same height, almost. <laughs> they make an interesting pair, although Akira looks more like a lawyer than a babysitter. Isn't she a lawyer? I don't remember. She's something. She's a businesswoman. I'm still not really sure why she and Lily are here, though. Taking a glance around the room, there are tennis rackets, golf clubs, and even a stack of fishing poles and tackle boxes secreted here and there. Behind every chair, in every corner, and every table, there is some piece of outdoor hobbyist equipment. I pick up one of the fishing rods and play with it. This is a nice house. Shizune, it looks like your dad has a lot of hobbies. For a moment, I forget to sign what I say, but Misha is already in the process of interpreting what I said for her. I'm still a little impressed at how automatic interpreting is for Misha. Do you fish? No, I don't know how. <laughs> kind of want to learn. I heard it's relaxing. There's a river only a short drive away. My whole family knows how to fish. If you want, we could go there sometime. You and Hideki can fish? I didn't expect people your age to know, considering how it seemed like a hobby for old men. You know, Lily is great at cooking. If we had some fresh fish, it's not hard to follow Akira's train of thought. If you want to eat fish, we could go to the store. Lily's voice sounds slightly more authoritative than usual. She doesn't seem to share her sister's enthusiasm for the idea. <laughs> it's more fun to go fishing. We could even make it like a game to try and see who catches the biggest one. That would be exciting, right? Yeah, he chan What do you think? It sounds fun, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely could be. It sounds like a plan. I don't know how to fish either, so now's a good time as any to learn. Her eyes shift towards Lily, who remains unmoved. This sours Akira's smile a bit, and makes me wonder why Lily's being so obstinate about this. I don't think we have enough fishing equipment for everyone. We can take turns. It'll be like a team battle. It'll be a team battle. 
What is she saying? <laughs> he looks so surprised. We can take turns. She also wants to make it a contest. Come on, Lily. We may as well make the most of it. So this is going to be a competition to see who can catch the biggest fish or the most. Looks like the older sister understands better, as always. Chichen says it's, she supposes Lily would prefer to go to the store, right? It's much less work, so it's natural she would. Going fishing would be more fun, though, and save money. Kira, you have the right idea. Akira gives a gracious, if slightly stilted, smile. Shizune's praise wasn't her goal, after all. Hmm. Isn't the river quite far away? I don't think it's that far, and I can drive if we have to. I'm okay with it, as long as you catch something. <clears throat> can your car fit this many people and a whole lot of fishing gear on top of that? She purses her lips <laughs> as her fingers subtly move, counting up the amount of passengers and required cargo. If you're going to be taking me, Shizune, Misha, Lily, Akira, and Hideki. Six people. Damn, my car can only take five. Actually, if Hideki was on my lap, we could... <laughs> I'm sorry, what the... F <laughs> I'm not sitting on your lap. Huh. In the driver's seat? Jeez. Shichan says that her father's car would be big enough. What? The Fuga? If he doesn't mind us using it, then I guess we have no other choice. It feels kind of bad forsaking my car, considering I won't have it for much longer. Despite Lily's obstinacy. Obstinacy? Whatever. And Hideki's questions of whether or not he would prefer to eat first than bet on a fish dinner then might fail to even materialize, there is no way to dissuade Akira and Shizune as they agree to be on the transport plane. Ooh, that's so cute. Look at Shizune. Lily is smiling for some reason, I think. Yeah, okay. My expectations of somewhat relaxing drives, and sorry, Misha's sleeping. She's knocked out. <laughs> I guess Akira's in the back, back seat. I love Akira, she's really cute. My expectations of a somewhat relaxing drive through the countryside are fulfilled. Akira's driving is as smooth and peaceful as the surroundings, to the point where Misha falls asleep during the trip. I thought this trip would have been rather too slow-paced for Shizune's liking, but she seems to genuinely enjoy it, even with Hideki awkwardly sandwiched between her and the door. Oh, he's over here. Uh, and she just keeps looking out the window and smiling. That's nice. This is a really pretty place. The area surrounding the river is quite beautiful. Akira and Shizune head off for the river so quickly that we have no choice but to chase them. We'd be left in the dust otherwise. I can see Hideki and Lily are just humoring their siblings, Lily being the more unenthusiastic of the two. Misha seems as happy as ever, though. Looks like she just managed to latch on to some of Shizune and Akira's excitement. As for myself, I'd rather eat now. But the thought of fresh fish prepared by Lily's appealing. The river is larger than I had imagined, although very scenic and peaceful. Other than a small pier, apparently built to just fish off of, this place looks untouched by civilization. It makes me realize how much greenery I've seen lately. Shizune pulls Misha away so that they can explain how to fish to Akira. Lily and Hideki are talking between themselves, so I decide to join the enthusiastic trio. So, which one of these lures should I use then? Can I use this cute little one? Wait, wait, this is not This is a contest. We need to pick teams first. Shichan and I will be on one team, of course. Hee-chan, you're going to be on our team too, aren't you? We can be the student council team. Okay. All right, then. That makes me, Hideki, and Lily on the other team. Lily, what we, should we call ourselves? I don't see why it matters. I don't think it matters. <laughs> team, no enthusiasm. It is. Yet again, Akira's best efforts are rebuffed. Shizune and Misha, on the other hand, have no lack of enthusiasm whatsoever. Hisao, you can be our point man. Try to catch it in as many fish or the biggest fish possible. Why me? No one's even going to taught me how to fish yet. We can do that now. After a quick tutorial, Shizune immediately tries to draw us into a discussion about the strategy in a team tag fishing competition. Somehow, competition doesn't seem particularly applicable to a sport where you spend hours sitting down and hoping a fish bites a worm. Looks like Hideki got stuck on the spare rod. You know, it's just a string tied to a bamboo, bamboo pole, right? That means we're deciding the order. You should go against him. What? what me? Why me? You have the least experience here, Hichan. Yeah, so who's the best here? Shizune? Hideki is your brother. He's probably just as good. He probably fishes all the time since he lives closer to a lake. He might even be better. Watching you three makes my head hurt. You know I'm only wearing, hearing two-thirds of a conversation, right? What's this about? Picking our lineup. Akira makes a troubled face. She's getting impatient, which probably isn't too unreasonable. If you're impatient, that only makes me more excited. Now I want to play for higher stakes. 
what she's saying. <laughs> she wants to play for higher stakes. I wouldn't be too hasty. We have beginner's luck twice on our side, after all. The only way you'll be able to beat that is catching a whole ocean. Hmm. This is a fresh body of water, you marine biologist. Weird insult, delivered off with unblinking and innocent good cheer. Akira doesn't seem bothered. She laughs it off, and Shizune, like her usual mischievous self again. Glad they get along. So, are we going to pick teams or what? Kind of getting kind of hungry. Hisao, yes, Misha, and I are on one team, and Lily and Hideki, you are on the other, aren't you? I suppose that's the most obvious arrangement. Wouldn't mixing it up be a little more fun, though, eh? Hmm. Do you want to fish on your, with your own sister? Well, neither of us know how to fish, so putting us on the same team is kind of... Well, it sounds like I've heard something kind of dangerous. What well, sounds like I've heard something, yeah. I try to change the subject before Shizune can turn that incredulous look on her face into something more. So I guess you and Shizune know each other? Sure do, we go way back. Kira throws a knowing grin at Shizune. It's not until Misha finished translating what she said that Shizune gains a troubled face. Kira sure is different from Lily. Aside from how they look, she's much more informal and laid back. I expect Lily's family to be all be proper and formal like her, so this is a surprise, but I feel she's easy to talk to. As much as I like talking about catching fish, we should probably actually do it sometime. Would you suggest that there should be a lineup, like in baseball? Or should it be everyone at once, like ta or a tag team style? Can everyone sit wherever they want? Or do teams have to stick together? Do we call where we fish? What sizes fish what fish sizes will we be counting? Seeing Akira groan after Misha's dutiful translates for her, Shizuna rubs her glasses and laughs silently. Never mind, let's just fish then. It can be an individual contest. <gasps> this is so pretty! They're all so cute! Lily doesn't know where she is. <laughs> I sit down, ready to fish. Although I'm not feeling very confident, everyone else is already sitting. Except Akira, who takes a seat next to me and throws her line out after taking her suit jacket and rolling up her sleeves. She's so cute. Misha and Hideki end up sitting on the shore and fishing together, as there's not enough room on the pier for everyone. Truth be told, I'd rather be sitting next to Shizune, but Akira seems approachable enough. Careful there, you're a little close. Don't tangle our lines, okay? So you've never fished before? And his style actually looks normal. I know I say this a lot, but whenever they draw him, he seems a little, like, weird-shaped. This one, he seems so cute. He's just a normal boy. <clears throat> no, but I've seen a bit on TV. I always wanted to catch one of those big fish with a sword for a face. Marlin, I think. If I recall correctly, those are from the ocean. They're saltwater fish. I know that, but why is everyone acting like I don't know the difference between freshwater and saltwater fish? If you're uncareful, you'll scare off the fish, saltwater or not. Kira's voice is somewhat loud between her attempts to both egg on, egg on Shizune and keep Lily entertained, so she might have a point. My line doesn't seem to be picking up anything, but I don't know how much of that is down to Akira. <clears throat> Shizune's vo Shizune does her best to relax in the sun and pulls the look off very well, but I can tell that she's slightly put off by not knowing what's being talked about. Not having Misha around can be a real problem. Hisao, what's the score so far? Are we winning? I hope we are, given that I've entrusted you with our team's success. She could still see how many fish are being caught. That's not like a weird thing. <laughs> I managed to do some awkward signing with creative placement of my rod. It's like, it's probably close to being gibberish in spoken terms. You're right. You're like, right there. Can't you tell? Disappointing. You let yourself get distracted. You have to stay focused. Should've known. <laughs> well, it's zero zero in any case. Akira chuckles, although it's clear that really took the wind out of her sails. Is is it just numbers now, or are we keeping track of size too? Both. Grading matters. Who's going to be grading them? Are you a set of certified fish judge? Shizune shakes her head to signify that she isn't. But it doesn't seem like it would be very hard. Tell me, should have stopped flailing her hands around like that. It's scaring all the fish away. And ask Hideki why he hasn't even bothered to cast yet. I look over to the two and yell what Shizune said to them. Chichan, I think he's upset that he's stuck with a backup rod. Since Misha is largely unable to sign anything coherently right now, she only gets a puzzled look from Shizune for a reply. Shizune just sighs after I translate it to her. Hey, even if you're depressed about it, you gotta try. You can catch the big one, for all you know, but you won't catch anything unless you do. I feel that 
gets at least half of her encouragement is because Hideki does catch the big one. She wants to be there to eat it. And having six people fishing just leads to better chances of catching something than having five. The constant awkward shuffling I have to do to communicate with Shizune, not to mention her increasing fidgeting, make me think that it might be good to have her give her a go at fishing. Hey guys, can we switch over now? Sure, Lily. No, no, please. I have no idea how to fish. I sign what they say, given I that I seem to have taken Misha's place as Shizune's interpreter right now. How magnanimous of you, Lily. Oh boy, here we go. I don't bother translating what she says for fear of sparking <laughs> another fight. That's funny that he knows magnanimous, because that's the word that Lily, or uh, Misha, messed up on really early on, right? She was like, magnanimous? <laughs> it's like one of Shizune's words, I guess. Shizune, you should try... <clears throat> says you should at least try. Might even turn out to be fun. Very well, Akira. How do you use this? It's pretty simple. I wonder how ethical it is to purposely completely change what Shizune said like that. At least it paid off. <gasps> Cute. He's just chilling there now. <laughs> I think I understand. What bait do you think would be the best to use? I'd prefer something that wouldn't hurt the fish too much. Either way, we are killing and eating them, Lily. I don't think hurting really matters. If you're putting a hook through their mouth, I don't think the bait's going to hurt them much more. And letting it go? No, no, don't do that. But if it's big, then there's little point in killing it. If it's big, we eat it. With my bare hands freed, it's much easier for me to interpret what everyone else is saying. Now Shizune is the one who has to deal with her hands being full, but she seems to take it in stride. That's so arrogant. Okay, I'll only reel in the big ones too from now on. What's she saying? Kira just sighs after I interpret it for her. No, I don't like that only. You know, a fish is a fish. Take what you can get. Unfortunately, Shizune can't hear her, and Lily doesn't seem to be paying too much attention now. Lily's taken to fishing easily. It is very relaxed activity, after all. It isn't long before they both catch a fish, and surprisingly, Lily is just as interested in which is the bigger of the two as Shizune is. As, a as the hours pass, it seems that they're even starting to have fun. Oh, cute. At the end of the day, we have several good-sized fish between us. Even Hideki and Misha managed to catch one. No one brings up that we're, we were competing to see who could catch more, and I don't think it matters to anyone anymore. Shizune and Misha are talking between themselves some distance away, and Lily and Hideki are doing the same. I decide to take advantage of the quiet moment to talk with Akira. Lily and Shizune get on well today. I didn't really expect it after seeing how they act towards each other in school. She gives an amused snort. Looks like she doesn't take their feuding as seriously as I do. They've got their reasons. Lily and I are going away for a while tomorrow, so we thought we'd just pop by. In the end, I'm glad we did. After a brief silence, she stretches loudly and then claps her hands to get everyone's attention. Well, uh, looks like enough to feed everyone. We should be heading back now. Lily nods, but then hesitates. Even with her face clouding a bit, she still looks to be in a better mood than this morning. Akira really seems to know how to handle her and diffuse her antipathy antipathy towards Shizune pretty well. Today's catch looks delicious. Kind of wish I had some soy sauce so I could eat it now. I thought you wanted me to cook it. You don't think eating it raw would be okay? Despite Akira's protests, or joking, can't tell which, we decided to wait at least cook the fish before eating it. It started to become pretty late while we were out. By the time we arrive back at Shizune's house, it's a good time for dinner. Nice. Nice.